Hello viewers and welcome back to the channel everyone. I hope everyone is doing well out there. So in this video we will discuss about the development of lungs during the intrauterine life in which we will mention the duration of maturity or maturation and uh, we will uh, talk about the entire development process and the related congenital anomalies and also at last we will discuss about the question which may be asked uh, in the test uh, related to this topic. So without any further delay let's go to our intro and start our video. And if you are new here in this channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and enjoy the video. Hello Namaste Ola Priviyat viewers welcome to my channel Med Gossip SD I am Subhas. The main objective of this channel is we bring basic medical and clinical science topics, explanation with the related diagrams much as possible and frequently asked exam oriented questions of that related topic. So make sure you hit that red button of subscription and the bell icon so that you could never miss the updates. So, the process of development. During the fourth week of intrauterine life, the long board, which is also known as respiratory diverticulum, appears as an outgrowth from the ventral wall of foreguts. Then, as the long board descends downwards, it will be separated from esophagus with the help of tracheoesophageal septum, except at laryngeal orifice. Then, during this separation, the long board will form the trachea and two lateral outpocket in. Uh, which is also known as the bronchial buds. At the beginning of fifth week, each of these long board will enlarges to form right and left main bronchi, which then respectively form three and two secondary bronchi. The developing long board will invaginate and will expand into pericardioperitoneal canals, the primitive pleural cavities, and get covered by visceral and parietal pleura and the next process is by the end of six month 17th generation of subdivision has have been formed the lung will then acquire the final shape after an additional six division which will form uh, during postnatal life Now let's talk about the maturation period of lung. The maturation of lung process is simply classified into four following period and they are pseudoglandular period, canalicular period, terminal sac period and alveolar period. Now let's talk about the duration. The pseudoglandular period uh, starts in 5 to 16 weeks. The canalicular period happen in 16 to 26 weeks. The terminal sac period goes from 26th week to birth and last the alveolar period goes from 8th month to the childhood. So now let's talk about the process in the following maturation period. In pseudoglandular period the branching continues, terminal bronchial is formed and respiratory bronchials are still not formed. Uh, in canalicular period terminal bronchioles divide into respiratory bronchioles which again divides into alveolar space. In terminal sac period the terminal sac will form and the capillaries uh, will establish close contact. In alveolar period Alveoli mature and have well developed epithelial endothelial contact. Now let's talk about the clinical manifestations that may be occurred in development of lungs. The common anomalies is esophageal atresia. It is with or without tracheoesophageal fistula. So what is esophageal atresia? It is a abnormalities in the partition of esophagus and trachea by tracheoesophageal septum which results in the defect. This condition is of mainly three types. Number A, the upper portion of esophagus end in blind pouch and lower segment forming of fistula with trachea. 
it is a common condition which is 90 percent next is isolated esophageal atresia which is 4 percent and third we have H type tracheoesophageal fistula without tracheoesophageal or esophageal atresia which is also 4 percent if you want this condition in details please comment down below i will make a separate video of it now we have come to the last part of the video which is the question answer the questions that may be asked in the test related to this topic uh, are number one elaborate the development of lungs number two write down the short notes on esophageal atresia and number three explain the period that occur in maturation of lungs with their durations Thank you for making me a part of your day. Like the video if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And hit the notification bell icon to get notified after we upload. See you in the next video. Bye bye.